Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use AI to create a unique piece of artwork and then turn it into a physical world decoration using 3D printer. We'll generate a bonsai tree using stable diffusion with LoRa model, convert it into a vector format and finally print a flat relief that works perfectly as a modern decoration. This is a fantastic way to create personalized wall art and you can even use the same technique to make custom keychain and other creative designs. Let's get started. To create the graphics, I use my local AI server with stable diffusion. If you know that I have stable diffusion installed locally with automatic 111. If you also want to have stable diffusion installed locally, I invite you to my YouTube tutorial where I showed step by step how to do it. I added vector art and line art to my stable diffusion. Here you will find a description how to do it. It's really very simple. You install it, copy it to appropriate folder and then just set the appropriate parameters in the stable diffusion. Ok, let's go to stable diffusion. Here I add information about what I want to create. If you want to do something similar, I will add a prompt in the video description. So that you have a good base point from which to start without having to stop the video and rewrite it manually. I will reduce the steps to 17. Now, according to the description, I will use additional networks, enable LoRa, and my downloaded model. I set value to 0.8. Now, because my server is not a speed demon, I have to wait. If you have a more powerful server, the image will be generated faster. By the way, as I mentioned, you can generate this image in any online, offline tour or anywhere. You can even create it manually in Adobe or Free Inchcape or wherever you want. You can also download something free from the internet, it doesn't matter. Ok, as you can see my image is ready. As you can see, before recording this episode I also generated a few other images, but this one looks the best. Now we need to save this image in SVG format. If you have already downloaded image in SVG format or created it using Adobe Inchcape or wherever, then you can skip this step. I use a free online tool from Adobe because it's fast and works really well. And of course, most important, it's free. So I just drop my image here and in the moment I can download it. I will save it in folder with my generated image so I don't have to look for it. Now I'm opening my printer program. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. So, import, import SVG. Almost done. I just changed the size. 122 millimeters and 127 millimeters is okay, but I will change the height to 2 millimeters. Now it looks better. The printer uses something around 60 grams of filament, so it's very little and cheap. Print and it's done. Now I have to wait for a while. As you can see the image come out very clear. And it looks very good with the original bonsai tree. Please don't judge me, I'll be trimming the tree soon. Of course you can print other similar things and in different sizes. Ok, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.